Hello, hello, hello. I am Chris Levels, the host of Politics and Prophecy. And today I'm doing something a little different on April 22nd, 2020, because I haven't made any videos since uh, I believe about 2017. But it's been in my heart today to go ahead and share something with you. I want to let you know, for those that still aren't aware, my show, Politics and Prophecy, on Blog Talk Radio, Freedomizer Radio, Spreaker, iTunes, and other platforms, is back on. I came back on the air on April 6th of this year, and uh, I'm very happy to be doing what I've been called to do. So I hope you will check out the show. It airs from 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, noon Pacific Time, so that would be 2 Central Time. And that's live, so you can call in during the show, and I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear from you. Uh, make your comments, ask your questions. It would be a blessing. So I just wanted to let you know that. And to also remind you that I have a YouTube channel called Politics and Prophecy, and it helps if you put Chris levels after politics and prophecy because there's a lot of content out there regarding either one of those two words. So if you put Chris levels behind that, you'll find the channel, which is where I'm going to upload this video after I'm done. The reason I'm making this video today is because I played a YouTube clip yesterday on the air and it was, uh, called there is something happening in the spirit realm that you need to know i think that's the proper title for it. i'm not sure but i took an excerpt out of it where the preacher was emphasizing stand your ground and it hit home even right now just sitting here thinking about it sends chills through me stand your ground if at any time in your life as an American, and even those wherever you are on the planet, because we are under spiritual siege, this is the time to put aside all foolishness and stand your ground. No matter what your relatives, your friends, even your spouse, if they come against the word of God, it's time for you to stand your ground for the things that are of God, that the things that are meant for you personally, as far as spiritually, stand your ground because we are up against it here in America as never before. Across the world, things are, are different. I mean, imagine trying to be a Christian in Pakistan or Afghanistan or Saudi Arabia. But we need to stop getting caught up in the material realm and focus on the spiritual realm because this is where all the chaos and all the attacks are stemming from, the spiritual realm. You need to understand, allow God to teach you how to engage in spiritual warfare because we have dominions right now that are just running amok on this planet and they have a purpose in mind. Now, uh, what that purpose is, you need to listen to the show or follow me on Facebook because I put it out there every day. So I hope that you will join me. I'm going to attach the clip of Stand Your Ground. I can't tell you who the pastor is. It doesn't really matter. It matters that he was speaking as the voice of God. And for anybody with any discernment, you can feel it because this is the time our time as Americans is now and I mean that in a spiritual sense yeah I do believe that we should be engaging in civil disobedience peaceful civil disobedience but I don't really see that happening it could. I mean, they're holding rallies right now across the nation. So that is civil disobedience. And that's a good thing. We need more and more people if we're going to stem the tide peacefully.
but as a son of God, I stand with my brothers and sisters all over the world in this time where they're trying to push the beast system upon all inhabitants of the planet. It's not time for us to be deceived. It's not time for us to be listening to their media. It's time to seek out true sons and daughters of God that are bringing information that is correct, that is tearing down the veil of deception, and for your discernment to be at a level higher than it's ever been before. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and let you hear, actually see, I didn't uh, break it into the audio part, but it's uh, a video, about a minute long. But anyway, I hope you'll tune in to the show. I hope you'll, you'll participate in the show. And I hope you will share the show so that the information that I'm putting out will be disseminated far and wide. We need as many good reports, truthful reports, because when I say good, I don't mean good news that itches you know, your ear. I'm not trying to itch your ear. I'm trying to fortify you, to encourage and exhort you to understand this war that you and I are in for our souls and the spiritual power that we have through the Holy Spirit. So I hope I uh, haven't wasted your time and I hope you will join me. Because God is beautiful. I thank Jesus for his sacrifice. And no matter what comes, for those of us in Christ, only good things lie in store for us. God bless you, and I hope you enjoy the message. Bye-bye now. When the enemy comes into your life like a flood, Stand your ground and take your sword out in Luke 10 and go eyeball to eyeball with him and tell him, I have been given the authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm me. Stand your ground. When he tries to use one of his main tactics, which is fear, tell him, for God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Stand your ground. When he thinks you're down, tell him I'm not down Satan. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Stand your ground. When he tells you you're a loser, tell him I am the head and not the tail. When the enemy comes after you, Tell him, Isaiah 54, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Stand your ground. When he whispers in your ear and tells you you can't do this, throw Philippians 4.13 to him. I am able to do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Stand your ground.